We are back with a Fox News alert. Brian Laundrie found dead in a Florida reserve after the FBI's confirmed the fugitive's remains following a month-long manhunt. But the search for justice is far from over. Fox Nation host Nancy Grace is following what's next for this case in part two of her Gabby Petito investigation special. And she joins us now to react. Nancy, I'm curious, what do you think happened here? Well, I know that according to the defense attorney for the family, C. Bertolino, that the evening that Brian Laundrie left home, he was angry and upset, and his parents tried to stop him from leaving. Now, that goes to the theory that he committed suicide. Of course, he was found there at Carlton Reserve. He was identified through dental records because apparently he was totally skeletonized, which is interesting because it hasn't been that long. But his body body was underwater as well. There are a lot of wild animals roaming in that area that may have had something to do with it. The fact that he was skeletonized does not preclude the fact that his bones may not be all together. I predict the medical examiner will be on the scene trying to put the body over 200 bones back together mm. again. What about justice for Gabby? Well, I've got to tell you, there's not going to be justice for Gabby. This will never be in a court of law, and we will never know exactly what happened to her, unless there are enough forensic details from her body, such as his epithelial cell skin cells under her nails, something to tell us exactly what happened. Was it after a fight? Was it following the argument at the Mary Piglet restaurant? We may never know those answers, but this is what we do know. We believe Brian Laundrie murdered her, and I mean murder. Premeditation can be formed in the twinkling of a moment, the blink of an eye, much less the time it takes to throttle somebody dead as you're looking directly into their face. That's premeditation. So I know she was murdered, and I believe Laundrie did it. How and why, we'll never know. What about his parents? Do you think they were involved? There are these rumors. Well, I, I do find it. Uh, an extreme coincidence that they go out under Carlton Preserve and within an hour they find his belongings. Uh, P.S. I think there's going to be a notebook in that dry bag that will probably have a, have a lot of his ruminations, extremely self-absorbed writings about his thoughts. We may get some clues from that. And then suddenly his body is found. But if you follow that through, that thinking that they planted those items, it doesn't make sense. A logical conclusion would be they planted the body too. That did not happen. I would be more concerned if I were them about aiding, abetting, and encouraging him hiding out from police and not revealing the truth. Here's the fly in the ointment. Unless they did an overt act, they will never be prosecuted. Nancy, thank you so much. Thank you. I'll You're see you welcome. Sunday night. Yes, ma'am. So be sure to catch a Gabby Petito investigation with Nancy Grace. It's part two. It's airing live on the Fox News Channel Sunday night at 10 p.m. And you can also catch it on Fox Nation if you miss it Sunday night.